In this video, I just recently acquired a Hobby Japan Honda NSX and I wanted to pit this against an Inno 64 as they're at the same level in terms of quality and price. Let's take a deep dive and see what the differences are and how it can help you in a future decision when it comes to these two brands starting now. What's going on guys? James with Model Cars Houston. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe but if you're also looking for a great place for collectible model cars, check out www.modelcarshouston.com and there you'll find all brands, makes, sizes, and many more. All right, guys, here we go. We are here yet again with a versus video. We have Inno 64 on the right side, and I will show you what this little tidbit is in a minute. And then we have a new contender, Hobby Japan, both white NSXs, both 64 scale, both NSXRs. There are quite a couple of differences already. Let's start with the exterior boxing. As you can see, Hobby Japan. Love the nice little 30 year celebration debut of the Honda NSX. However, guys, you will see inside, you get two extra goodies with this car. So you don't just get the car, you get a engine and a pallet. This is part of Hobby Japan's new little extra goodie set where they're putting in engines and pallets with all the nostalgic Japanese vehicles. So packaging wise, there you have it. For Inno, what they're gonna do is they've got this fun packaging, cool little graphics, love the two-tone white black, love the pattern base and the NSXR slogan across the bottom. And this one, they are dubbing it an NA2. However, with the Inno 64, you get this little bit. And what this little bit is, is extra set of wheels that Inno always does. Um, this one was probably one of their earlier versions where they'd give out an extra set of wheels. Obviously they've figured it out to put these wheels inside with the cases now. And if you want to check out a video where we learn how to put these wheels on the car, I will link that down in the description below. So I think display wise guys, they are looking pretty darn good. However, let's remove it from their cases and do a 360 walk around. How we typically do it, we remove the top, reveal the vehicle. Uh, here you go. That is the Inno 64 version. Uh, we are going to remove the top. Oh, you got to be a little bit careful with this one because it's got the packaging for the engine and pallet. So we will carefully move that out and go over this accessory towards the end of the video. So here we have it, NSXR. Here we have it, another NSXR. And what we'll do is, since we've already talked about the base, we'll start with the front of the vehicle. This is an NA2. Now, NA2 does not mean that it has pop-up headlights or stationary static headlights. Uh, all that means it's got the two different engine sizes. So the first difference, as you can tell from both models, the Inno 64 is more specializing on the stationary static headlights, whereas the Hobby Japan version is utilizing the pop-up headlights. But an interesting tidbit about Hobby Japan's is that they actually have them popped up. Something that we normally do not see when it comes to 64 scale. Leave me a comment down below if you love pop-ups. Now, some may argue that they like this setup better on the NSX. However, I'm an old school 90s guy and I love pop-ups. Looking at the hood, uh, you can see this one has the actual scoop, uh, whereas this one does not. So that is another noticeable difference between these. Uh, the color, this one is definitely a lot brighter, more like a championship white. Whereas this one, even though it is is a little bit yellower perhaps they were going for more of a pearl white type of color now moving to the front bumpers you will see that the one with the stationary headlights is going to have a little bit different bumper setup so you'll notice the vents here the center vent and then you'll notice the two little sensors there uh, the honda logo on the bumper is a lot more evident on the inno versus the hobby japan now moving on to the inside here with the uh, pop-up style front bumper you're going to get the inserts for the turn signals right there so they did a good job the front grille right there that looks pretty accurate uh, it's got an oem lip 
uh, at the bottom, as you can see here. Uh, this one also from Inno rocking the OEM lip as well. Moving to the sides of the vehicle, you can see right away some of the noticeable differences here where the wheels, you are newer gen NSX on this one. Uh, the NA1 gonna be rocking the five spoke style type R wheels. Side view mirrors are black on the Inno. Side view mirrors are painted on the Hobby Japan. Got the side markers. It's got the fuel cap on the right side. Uh, you're seeing details for the keyhole here and the cabin area all painted black. One thing that pops up to me though is on the Inno 64, you'll notice this area is a lot more defined where it goes into the vent towards the engine. Whereas on the Hobby Japan, you don't see it too noticeable. It's a lot more subtle, could be a casting difference. Both also have rubber tires. And then moving towards the back, you've got the side pieces for the rear bumper, the center piece, some aftermarket, looking exhaust, got the NSXR wing, whereas on this one, it being an earlier version, you don't have the NSXR wing. You do have the full tail light there, <laughs> but the problem with that full tail light, I don't know why, they just painted it all the way across. Uh, both are rocking the inserts for the tail lights, which is good. Both have the NSXR license plate. The earlier model has the bumper without all the extra added accessories here, as you can see here, but it does have the diffuser, uh, factory exhaust, so that looks cool. Moving on to the cabin, engine cabin area, uh, you can tell immediately that the Inno 64 guys, tons of detail, tons of litter coloring, uh, you can't open it or anything like that. Whereas on the Hobby Japan, a lot simpler. It's covered up at, with the mesh, with the engine cover. You don't have details for the defrost here. You do have de details for the defrost there. Uh, you do have the vent on the Hobby Japan and the Inno 64, so they did a good job on that for both. And then going into the inside, on the Inno 64, they definitely went all out. They painted all the trim pieces and everything like that. On the Hobby Japan, it's looking a little bit more simplistic. The details for the console area, they don't stand out as much as opposed to the Inno 64 version. Both are rocking the bucket seats. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the Hobby Japan seat looks just a tad bit crooked, uh, not straight. Could be a key CD thick. Might even be that the seat's loose, but I shook it and there's not any sound. So it's definitely glued on a little bit crooked. Come on, Hobby Japan, let's get it together. Inno 64, however, all looking good, all looking straight. All right, guys, so let's now remove it from their base, do our roll test and see which one rolls and which one doesn't roll. All right, so here we are, Inno 64 at the front, Hobby Japan in the back. Let's start with Inno 64. Not gonna roll, unfortunately. I think we already knew that though. And then Hobby Japan, let's see, not gonna roll either. So with typical range of these types of cars, uh, typically most of the time they're gonna be for static display, but as promised, accessories, different set of wheels for the NXX NO64 NA2. So if you wanna change those out, you can. Those are the factory wheels and you get some aftermarket BBS mesh type wheels with that guy. And for the Hobby Japan version, as promised, you're gonna get this little goodie. This is an engine on a pallet. This is the C30 engine. You can see it's got the transmission valve covers. Look at that detail. It's got the oil pan and everything. So I think Hobby Japan has made up for the fact that they've got a crooked seat with this little engine. So question of the day for you guys out there. What did you think between these two power housing brands? Both guys, in my opinion, are putting out some pretty high quality, awesome die cast. So, let me know down in the comments below which brand you favor, which of these NSXs you like. Let me know if you already have some of these in your collection. So if you enjoyed this video, check out my videos in the next slide and I will see you in those videos or my next video.